there you guys I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these colorful lacy seed beads earrings consider subscribing quit the bell if you still haven't also liking sharing and commenting in this way you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like what I'm doing here check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials I will be so happy to see them and you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button now let's start with the list of the materials Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads, orange, yellow, red and turquoise. Here I'm also using earring findings. This is nylon nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size or 12 as well. And these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work by picking up 10 of those beautiful yellow beads. And I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making a knot by making a loop going twice through it and pulling. And then what I want to do is to make one more knot. Okay guys, and in my next step I'm going through some beads in this direction. And I take two orange beads and I go back through these two beads that I've just been through. You see here is my thread. I'm going backwards through these beads and when I pull you see I have a loop between these yellow beads and these newly added orange beads. Okay, Then in my next step guys I'm going through the following two yellow beads, two orange, go back through these two yellow and also go through the next two so go through four in total. In this way you save one movement. Now I'm here after these two. I take two and just to save time I go through four. Then I take two again And I go through four beads. Again two. And go back through these two. And with this guys this row is ready. Now what I want to do is as I'm exiting through these two yellows in the inner row. I want to go through the next two orange beads and in this way I'm changing directions but don't worry it is a wanted effect okay and now I take one turquoise bead I go through the following orange And I take one red bead and I go in the second orange that is on my way. Okay. And now you could continue in this direction but for me it is easier when I flip my work. So I will turn it like this. Because I'm right handed it's easier for me to go like this counterclockwise. Okay, and I take another turquoise and I go in the next orange, another red, go in the following orange, a turquoise, next orange, 
All right. Then another turquoise. Red. And turquoise. And the last red one. And after I add the red, the last red, I want to exit through one of those red beads. I also want to cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and as I'm exiting through one of those red beads, I take seven more red beads. Now with this on my needle, I'm going in the following red. And in my next step, guys, I take seven of those beautiful red beads and I go in the next red one. Okay. Seven more. Go in the following red. Seven again. And with the next seven guys, I go here in the very first red bead that I started the whole row from. Okay, then what I do is that I go through three beads in this direction. Take three orange beads, skip the central of those seven that is on my way, and pull. Take two red, one orange and two red beads, and go here in this bead that is just before the central bead. Take three orange beads, skip the one in the center and go in the next. Then take five, two red, one orange and two red and go here in the one which is just before the center. Three orange, skip the central one and go in the next then take five again two red one orange two red and go here through the third red bead counting from the angle or next to the one that is sticking out the most which is the central bead okay and i'm going to continue adding beads the same way and i'll meet you here guys Okay, my friends, and I'm here at the last step of this row, and I took again the same sequence, two red, one orange, two red. Now what I want to do is go through these two orange beads. Take five yellow beads. Five of those. And go in the next orange. Take five more, go in the next orange, five, orange, five, orange. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end. Okay, my friends, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And in my next step, what I want to do is go through this yellow, which is after the orange angle. And I take one orange bead and I go through the yellow bead, which is before the orange angle. 
then I go through the orange angle and after that I go through the next two yellow beads okay in my next step guys I'm going here in the middle yellow bead I take three orange beads and I go back in circle through this middle bead and I'm aiming for the orange angle. Now I repeat the same thing. I go one bead after this orange angle, take one orange and go backwards through the yellow before the angle and through the orange at the angle. Okay. In my next step, again, I want to reach this central bead here of the five that I have next. So I go through three beads. I take three orange beads and I go back through this one and I aim for the angle. Then I go after this yellow that's on my way. I take one orange and I go backwards through this yellow and through the orange angle. Okay. Then go through three beads in this direction, three yellow beads. And take three orange exit here at the angle and after that I will continue guys here at one at three at one at three if you forget exactly how I'm doing it just rewind the video and repeat these three steps everywhere and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am where I just added my last four beads from this row now what I want to do is to go in this direction and exit through one of the orange beads. I take a red one and I go in the following orange. After that I take three red beads and I skip the central orange and go through the following one red, go here in the orange, one red, go in the first orange, three red, skip the central one and go through the following, one red, go here, one red and go here then again three red go in the following orange and then fill the gaps with one red around the orange three red, skip this central one and go through the following and then one red and go through the orange and continue doing this guys until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back and meet you here at this point okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last red bead from this row then what I do is that I go through some beads in this direction and I want to exit here at this red one and I take here guys nine red beads okay nine of them 
and I'm going in the next bead that is sticking out. I take nine red beads and I go here in this one. Okay, and I'm going to continue doing these guys until the end of this row and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last step where I'm just adding my last nine beads from this row. And now I want to make an additional row to make these beads at the edge look nice. Now I'm exiting one red bead after this angle here. You see I'm exiting out of this bead and I'm taking three turquoise beads and I'm going back through one bead before the angle through the angle and through this bead that I'm initially exiting out of. I'm doing this back in circle, you see. Now what I want to do is go in this direction through three more beads. So now, now I am four beads away from this inner angle and I skip the next bead that's on my way and I go through all of those beads and exit at the angle. So when I pull I have this bead sticking out. Then I go in the next bead and I take three turquoise beads and I go backwards through these three beads. The one before the angle, the angle bead and the next one. Now I have this. Then in my next step I'm going through the following four be three beads and now I'm four beads away from this angle here, this inner angle. Now I skip the bead that's on my way and I go through all of those beads aiming for the next angle, the next inner angle I mean. And when I pull this bead sticks out, if it doesn't just help it a little bit by pushing it. Then again next bead after the angle, three turquoise and go back through the one before the angle, through the angle bead also through the following and then exit four beads after this angle. Okay and I'm going to continue this skip one at three, skip one at three and if you forget the way I'm doing it and just rewind the video, see how I make this and repeat, repeat, repeat until the end of this row and meet me here. Okay guys and here I am at my last step where I'm making my last angle. Now uh, if you use soft thread like me you could go around and reinforce your work or you could use fire line instead to make this one stay stronger. And now I go through those beads and exit here at this point. I take one seed bead my earring finding and one seed bead and I go back through this one here. Okay, fix it a little bit and now I'm going to reinforce this one. Then as I said you could reinforce and after that make a knot and cut your thread. And how I do this? I find a place let's say here at this edge. I make here a knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. Pull then go through some beads in this direction 
and after that cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my lacy colorful seed beads earrings are ready, so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe, also hit the bell button if you still haven't, in this way you will know when I make absolutely free tutorials similar to this one. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment, you give me signals to continue with my work and that you like what I do. Post pictures of your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page that you will find below. Support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.